we got this month's Platinum Basketball Boombox. These have been coming with first off the line packs. You all probably seen multiple people open up this box before. This box is 140 plus tax and shipping. Let's check out our packs. So we got July's Platinum Basketball Updates. Comes with 2223 Select first off the line, 2223 Optic first off the line. Looks like two of those. 2223 Elite first off the line, 2223 Elite Hobby. And this is the Wemby ticket promo. So those are your chances of getting a ticket. Top prize, autograph, Nikon Icon Spurs jersey. Man, that'd be so cool to get that. But it doesn't look like we got a ticket. We have full tickets before. You're going to at least get a credit if you get a ticket. All right, so I think I managed to get out most of Peanuts. So maybe that's a good sign. Since we didn't get a ticket, maybe we'll get something sweet out of these packs. So there's our... 55 point one touch. Every box comes with a one touch. And here's our packs. Definitely when it comes to cards, you know, quantity of cards, this is probably the least amount of cards I've ever seen for the Platinum box. All these packs come with very little, especially Optic. So these are two Optic packs. It looks like we got an extra Bowman pack, Bowman Chrome. Nice, maybe we'll pull something sweet out of that. All right, so these are two Elite packs. I can never tell which one is first off the line because they both say hobby, right? So I don't know which one's first off the line. If you all know how to figure this out, let me know down in the comments. Normally they would say FOTL, but for some reason, Panini like to mess with us. So imagine if you're trying to buy packs and you, you know, you don't even know if you're trying to get, if you're getting your, the pack you want based on the fact that it doesn't tell you. Unless there's an easy way that I'm completely missing, let me know down in the comments. And there's our select pack. Whew, that should be a pick, big pack, hopefully. Well, we'll do something like, we'll do it like that. We'll start off with some Bowman Chrome. We are, of course, looking for Victor Wembenyama, number one draft pick. Definitely stoked to see him this next year. But... I'm guessing we're going to pull out four base cards. So we got Trace Jackson Davis. That name is sounding familiar. I feel like we might have pulled this exact card recently. Mikey Williams. Looks like, ooh, we might have something there. Got Ryan Nemhard. At least I've heard of that name. I think I've even heard of Mikey Williams. All right, let's see here. Looks like we got a gold. A little first Bowman. Oh, we got an auto. Nice. Wow. Could Johnny Wright. Wow, I felt like somebody else recently just pulled an auto. Oh, we got out of 50. Two out of 50. Nice. Two's my lucky number. Nice. Wow. Could Johnny Wright. His name kind of sounds familiar. I'm not quite sure. Not exactly ringing a bell, but nice. That just means we're going to get an auto in every single pack. So we got either the hobby pack or the first off the line pack. I don't know. Your guess is probably as good as mine. All right, we gotta put these around. Victor Lodipo, Shea Gildress Alexander, Gordon Hayward. All right, here's our, looks like, nope, this is another base. Trey Young, so this may be the first off the line pack, maybe. Got Oren, Aaron Gordon, orange. Okay, so I was definitely wrong. Pretty sure that's hobby specific. Bobby Portis, Gary Trent Jr., and PG-13. All right, so I'm guessing this next pack is first off the line. I can't remember what variations you can get out of Elite. I'm guessing each first off the line box comes with a, you know, shorter print numbered out of you, some weird odd number probably. I'm guessing like 17 or 23 or, you know, 53. Marcus Morris Sr. Roy Hachimura. Franz Wagner. Terrence Baisley. All right, let's see here. 
or maybe <laughs> maybe maybe uh you can get oranges parallels off first off the line too we got jordan clarkson kind of looks like at first it might be a gold parallel but i'm pretty sure that's just the jazz colors but man that's kind of a bummer wow two orange parallels those are probably the worst two packs you could possibly get. So that just means if you all ordered this box, you all got the better stuff. So there's always a brighter side to everything. Just remember that. Andrew Wiggins. Little MPJ. And Steph. Oh, Steph and Curry. Nice. All right, so we got three packs left here. Both first off the line. Four cards. Let's see if we can pull a sweet numbered card. I think... I think you can get autos. I'm pretty sure you can get autos off first off the line. How many do Diallo? Josh Hart. Looks like we're gonna get a hollow in here. Uh Demontis Sabonis. I feel like we pulled this exact card. I don't know. Demontis Sabonis sounds very familiar. And Jaron Jackson Jr. Oh man. I was so stoked about these first off the line packs. Oh, this is rough. <laughs> this is rough. And this pack looks like it's been through some rough times. Ooh, hopefully the cards in there are okay. I just, it's probably because the fact that the boxes come with less packs or less cards, so definitely easier to mess up. So hopefully the cards are still okay in here. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe, you know, damaged goods means big things. I don't know. Jalen Brown. Rookie of Isaiah Mobley for those Cavs. Got, oh, it looks like we're only going to get it. Oh, guess I spoke to Gordon Hayward again. Showed up in Elite. Fe felt like he was missing out of Optic. And insert, oh, we got, we got a LeBron. Dominators. No, could be a lot worse than that. But for first off the line packs, uh, I don't know. Definitely, definitely probably the two worst packs of first off the line, optic and elite. Man, we got the we had to have gotten the four worst packs in all the boxes ever sent out. Guaranteed, we got the four worst packs. If you all think you got the worst pack, let me know down in the comments because I'm putting up my box against yours, and I'm gonna say my box definitely got the worst packs. Now let's just see if 22, 23 select can make up for it. First off the line, nonetheless. But, you know what? Select has always been one of those pro Not select, but first off the line, it's always been one of those products that, I mean, you're going to pay a little bit more to potentially get an, you know, a lower print parallel. But I don't know how I feel about it. I'm not even sure if my recommendation to the Boombox would be to keep up the first off the line packs. I don't know. Seeing some other boxes that were opened up with first off the line, I have no idea. I would my recommendation right now to the boom box is maybe just more packs and you know just the fact that you can get some better stuff. But we'll see. Got a little rookie uh, Shannon Sharp. Nice. That's not bad for the Trailblazers. Ayo Desunmo for the Bulls. We got Bam out of bio. If we got a silver in here, you know, we'll save the silver. Let's go to the back. Got a Anthony Edwards. And let's see if we can get a, a silver to save to save the opening. Is it going to be a rookie? Is it going to be another DeMontis Sabonis? You got, oh, nice. Not DeMontis Sabonis, but a, a LeBron James. With, with a, the centering that could definitely be better. I've definitely noticed that selects the centering is... Definitely gone downhill. But it is a LeBron. So definitely probably the better of the vet stars you can pull for select. So let me know down below what y'all thought of this month's Platinum Basketball Boombox. I have mixed thoughts about first off the line being inside these boxes. You know, based on what we got here, we were lucky to get a, at least a LeBron silver. But, you know, it is a silver. And this is just the concourse, so you know that's probably like five bucks. But 
it is what it is. It's still fun. We did get an auto. A little Kajani right auto. Numbered out of 50. So, I can't complain at all, really, I guess. Because of the fact we got a auto 50. Auto of Kajani right. 